G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cal here, and today I am back with an early game leveling guide for Horizon on the PS4. Now, this leveling guide may not be the most efficient guide throughout the entire game, but very early on in the game, it's going to be a really good experience grind and also a great way to get uh, metal shards as well. Um, so, the way you do this is you come here on the map, which is in the um, in the southeast quadrant of the map. And uh, all you have to gonna, gonna do is go to that fireplace where I had my marker before. Now once you get here, a crossman is a pack of grazers. Now the great thing about these grazers is that they have uh, blaze canisters on their back. And if you shoot a fire arrow into these blaze canisters, they'll blow up and they'll hurt the things around them. So they've got a pretty tight pack here. So it's a matter of getting some fire arrows. It's a must to have fire arrows at this point. And all you're going to have to do is shoot the canisters on their back. Now if you scan each of these uh, the grazers, they'll show the weak spot or the canister, making it easier for you. Um, and as you can see, as each one blows up, it, uh, it takes out its friends. Now, every time you spawn in here, the layout is going to be slightly different. Sometimes it'll be hard to get them all at once. But it's important to not really waste your time chasing, see that two got away. I don't waste my time chasing them, it's more efficient to go back and reset this mob um, rather than chasing. So you can see uh, we killed quite a few of them there and then it's just a matter of um, going around and looting their corpses. Now they have a lot of uh, white items on them which don't seem all that valuable but things like blaze sell for four shards each and there is a buttload of them. You get heaps, hundreds of them by doing this farm. Um, they also have a chance to drop uh, modification chips and also the rarer monster parts which sell also quite well. And it is really good for experience too. I think I ended up getting around about 40,000 experience an hour here. But I'll give you a full breakdown at the end of the movie. Or video, rather. So, once you have killed those guys, jump on this rock here to save yourself a bit of time for swimming. And then head back to the fireplace. Now when you get to the fireplace, all you have to do is tap triangle, or hit triangle, and you'll do a quick save. And then as soon as you've done that, go into load game and load the very top save. Um, you should only give it a little short loading screen. I haven't sped up anything here. I am playing on the PS4 Pro though, so it's possible you'll have a slightly longer loading screen. And then when you come back into the game, you'll notice all the grazers are back up. So just then it's a matter of rinse and repeat. Now once you get good at this, you don't have to scan every time, which is going to save you more time, but for me, that's what I did. So anyway, I did that farm for about an hour and uh, then I came back here and now I will show you the results. Before I started this grind, I was level 23 with 6,425 experience and I finished up the grind with uh, level 25 and 5,525 experience. So that is a gain of around about 45,000 experience for roughly 55 minutes farming or we'll just call it an hour. Uh, I would imagine if you got faster at this and you didn't scan every time like I did, you could make this number even better. And as for the shards that I got, I started off with 996 and then I ended up with 6012 after selling all, well not all of, but a, a fair amount of my, uh, my blaze and some other equips that I picked up. But this was also after filling out my entire ammo stash and I then had some left over. So if you want to be really, really uh, penny wise, I guess, then you sell everything and you can get a way higher shard count than this. But otherwise, it's a fantastic way to get experience and also um, shards. But like I say, it is uh, an early game grind. I wouldn't imagine you could do this until level 99, but uh, you never know. Um, but yeah, regardless, uh, good early game grind, and I will update in the future with a mid game and a late game guide if you guys are interested in that. But if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions or any way to make this guide more efficient, then uh, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Mm -hmm.